Hello Hunters, the Sheep Killer here, and welcome back to another DSK News. I know I just uploaded one of these, but I want to elaborate more on some stuff I said in the last DSK News, and yeah, I didn't really say too much in that one, so I want to say more this time. So let's just get things started right away then. Well, first of all, I plan on changing things up on the channel quite a bit. I don't want to do any more Let's Plays. Well, kind of. I don't want to do them anymore because... They don't usually do well, so I'll stop doing them if no one wants them. But if people do, if people in the comments really do push to want me to still do Let's Plays, then I will continue Let's Plays. But otherwise, I won't do Let's Plays anymore. I'll still do videos on the games that I said I would do Let's Plays on. But unless you guys really want them, then I just won't do the Let's Plays after all. So yeah, I do still plan on make on doing some big stuff with this channel in the future, but no more Let's Plays, because I want to focus on other stuff. You remember that interactive adventure? That was just one of the things I plan on doing to really shake things up around here. Yeah, I might do like review style videos on those games I've been wanting to play on the channel, so I still have videos about them, but not any more Let's Plays, so if I don't do any more Let's Plays, and the Pokemon Emerald Challenge Room was the last one, that was one of my favorite Let's Plays to make, so I don't really mind ending on that note, but... Again, it's totally up to you guys in the comments. Anyways, I do have a video that I'm about to make pretty soon. It'll be up in like a day or two or three. We'll see. But yeah, it's another Dragon Ball video. I haven't made one in a good while, but it's going to be a what if. I might as well say the title now. It's what if hit eliminated Dispo in the Tournament of Power. But like I said, I want to change things up around here. And one of the things I want to do is some Dragon Ball what ifs. I want to do more Dragon Ball videos. I haven't made that many. I want to start doing more of those though and I'm starting with the what if in a few days or tomorrow who really knows but yeah that's how it's gonna be all this stuff on a lot of different games and I might also do review style videos on games that I have let's played that'd be pretty nice see I could just use the footage from my let's plays so they won't take too long to make so yeah if you guys want to see that kind of stuff let me know in the comments down below and if you have any ideas for new stuff I could do let me know as well because I don't really know everything I want to do at this point, just like review style videos, more Dragon Ball videos, and also more of those 50 ways to offend videos. I do think I said that my 15 more ways to offend Dragon Ball fans or 50 ways to offend Fairy Tale fans, whichever one I made second between those two, but I did say whichever one of those would be the last of that style of video, but now I want to do more of those because, well first of all I can do them for more animes as well, not just Dragon Ball or Fairy Tale, but stuff like Naruto or whatever. I remember someone in the comments said they wanted a ways to offend Naruto fans and ways to offend One Piece fans. I, I could do those. I don't know much about those animes, but I could try. I might do less than 50, but we'll see. But yeah, that's basically the kind of stuff that I wanted to do. This is the shorter DSK news. I don't have much to say this time. I, want, I just wanted to elaborate more on what I said last time because I didn't really say that much, because I didn't really know completely then, but I do know now. And also, at the very end of this video, I can just give spoiler thoughts on Pokemon Sword and Shield, and just more general thoughts on the game. So, what's upset everything? I'll let you know when I'm about to talk about those, so if you either don't care or do care and don't want spoilers, you can click off the video then. So, there's a lot of games that I wanted to let's play, so the, either way, there's going to be a lot of videos to, for me to make. I'm starting with the Dragon Ball What If, like I said, and then after that, I might start on the interactive adventure, and then, oh, obviously Minecraft Creative, Minecraft Survival, and Minecraft Minigames are still going to go on. Those aren't going anywhere. They won't be made as often, not that I've made minigames often this year. I probably made like two or three minigames videos total in 2019. So yeah, they aren't uploaded as often, but they still do exist. So the next Minecraft Creative story arc, I could do a name drop. I suppose it's the I well it might not be the final name but the name I have for it right now is the nether king arc that's the name right now it could change it could stay the same we'll see but yeah I'm gonna start on that probably next year because it is December now we're in the last month of 2019 it's crazy as that sounds the end of the 2010s decade as well I started this channel back in 2015 and which was halfway through the decade and now we're ending off the decade and the channel's still going to keep going. I haven't really done too much to try to grow the channel lately. I've, in 2019, throughout all of it, the channel's remained kind of stagnant, not going to lie. Not just in terms of subscribers. 
but I haven't really changed things up too much this year, despite me trying to. So, yeah. That's why I really want to shake things up very soon. So, either... Like, starting in the next video, things are going to start getting different around here. I've never done a what if before. So, that's something new. I mean, not new in general, but new for me. But, yeah. That's how things are going to go. More Dragon Ball videos, more videos on other types of anime. Changing from Let's Plays to review style videos. I'm still going to do Minecraft videos, same as I've always been doing, but they won't be uploaded as often because those don't really get views. And Let's Plays are going to stop unless you guys in the comments really want them. So yeah, that's going to be it. And now to give my finalized thoughts on Pokemon Sword and Shield. It was pretty linear, but all modern Pokemon games are linear ever since... Well, they've always been linear. You can't really say any Pokemon game other than maybe Gen 1 and Gen 2 are not linear. So that's not really a surprise there. And yeah, I really like the ending, the, the that one scene where you battle Eternatus. That was, that was really fun. It was also easy because you had two legendaries on your side. Like, if they weren't there, it'd be the hardest battle in the game because Eternatus, the Eternatus form, has 1,125 base stat total. That is ridiculous. It, if the legendaries weren't there, you wouldn't win, probably. If you, if you were by yourself, then that'd definitely be an easy loss. And yeah, I also like the post-game story where the Squidward and Shieldbert the hero, if you get that reference, let me know. Yeah, I like the post-game where those two annoying, as they say in the game, weirdos show up and then you catch the legendary at the end of it and then Hop gets the other legendary as well. Also, Hop got his character development. I really like the story of the game. Some things could be better, yes, like... I really wish they would either bring back the National Dex or remake models and animations for older Pokemon instead of blatantly using assets. The only way that I think not having a National Dex is justified is if they remake the older models and animations, like make new ones from scratch instead of reusing them, because they're just reusing assets, bad assets, so, and it's so there's not really a true excuse for them. Cutting half the decks. I mean, yeah, they have a very limited development cycle, but I also wish they'd stop with the yearly Pokemon releases. I haven't really been too vocal in my opinions of Pokemon games at this point, which is why I am now. But yeah, I really wish they wouldn't do yearly Pokemon releases. Like, no enhanced versions. The first version should be good enough to not need an enhanced version. And then the only other main series games they should release anymore are remakes. Just main games and remakes should be it. If that's all they had, they, there wouldn't be really releases. Things would be a lot easier on Game Freak, and they either would bring back the National Dex, or they wouldn't, and they wouldn't have an excuse anymore, because they wouldn't have such short development cycles for everything. That's my opinion on the whole thing. Yeah, I, I don't really care too much that the National Dex is gone. I never cared about the National Dex in the first place, but it still shouldn't be gone without a good reason, and they don't have a good reason right now. And no, I'm not being biased, because my number one favorite Pokemon, Raichu, is still in the game. I mean, they don't have Typhlosion or Skarmory. But, whatever. Also, about top 10 favorite Pokemon. I should have said this before, my thoughts on Sword and Shield. Because some of you probably clicked off for that, but whatever. But yeah, about top 10 favorite Pokemon. My opinions on everything has changed, again, just from naturally changing opinions and the new Gen 8 Pokemon. So, will I make a new top 10 favorite Pokemon? No. But I will make a top 10 favorite Gen 8 Pokemon and briefly go over my new top 10 in that video. So, that's something else I plan on making as well. So next video is going to be the Dragon Ball What If, What If Hit Eliminated Dispo. And then uh, and then probably after that will be the top 10 I just talked about. And then after that will probably be the interactive adventure thing I've been talking about lately. So yeah, I hope you look forward to all that. And that's all I really wanted to say. I thought this would be, this would be a shorter DSK News video, but the recording ended up being over 10 minutes. So whatever, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy hunting!